Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So, the vote. Uh, the winning vote was to delete the vineyard and, well, not not replace it. Uh, we're just going to extend the olive grove in for number 12. But of course this can't happen straight away. Uh, we have a canola crop in the rest of for number 12, so that has to be harvested first. And in that time, this vineyard is going to produce another load of grapes. So that's good. We can get something else out of it. When the time comes, we will be deleting this, but there is one issue, and we are going to do what the vote said, because that was, that's what I said, not going to uh, change the rules, but yeah, the cereal factory, which we don't own yet, requires raisins, so obviously raisins come from the grapes, we have the grape production factory, I think the best plan of action is to turn this entire vineyard into raisins. I normally I split it 50-50, grape juice and raisins. This next harvest, this final harvest, will be raisins only. Hopefully that's going to be enough to run the production for many years. We already do actually have some raisins over at the uh, grape processing factory. Um, so yeah, it should be good. You can also buy raisins as a mod. So if we need to, we can do. So there we go. Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's what we're going to do. So there's one more harvest, then this vineyard is going, the olive grove is going to be extended across for number 12. So that'll be sort of September in the next year. Anyway, yeah, we have several things to do today. We need to, first of all, uh, just go and check up on the sugar factory. Wow. A few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them over here. Later on, we'll put them into a lorry into a trailer and we also more importantly today need to feed the chickens now we don't actually have any chicken feed because the fields were taken up with sugar beet this year um, so we are going to have to buy it for this winter only after that we're going to have lots of sorghum to give them wow how many are there suddenly production has really increased good catch <laughs> all right just put that there uh, yeah, so I don't know how many bags of food to get. Well, we don't have much money. But luckily, the price for lettuce in December is looking really good. So we are going to sell the lettuce very, very soon. We're just going to rest, then we're going to sell it. Uh, is that it? Any more going to spawn? It's looking fantastic, this. Uh, of course, the sugar as well. If the, if the sugar is good, but I don't think it will be, uh, we can sell some of that. Yeah, I don't really expect the sugar to be a good price for maybe half a year. Brilliant, we're almost there. And as for the sugar beet, which we have outstanding, currently in trailers, and a small amount on the ground, that is going to be put into the factory when there is space. There probably is space now, actually. Um, yeah, I think so. Wow, you can see how fast it's producing it. Down the, at the bottom right. So another pallet is about to spawn. But we'll just leave it for now uh, because we need to sort out the chicken feed. So if I just go into this, no, not that category, this category here, um, we need to find feed. I've probably already gone past it. I'm probably looking straight at it. Yes, I am. Uh, we need to get as much as we can afford. So five. Oh, no, sorry. That's 7,000. I was looking at this price here. Um, right. So not much, but we can buy more tomorrow. So it's just enough to keep them going. As for the... Actually, no, actually, we can probably fund it with this because we're going to sell that very small chicken enclosure. We're just going to keep the big ones. Uh, we should be able to make some money back from that, I hope. Where did I put my pallet fork? There it is. Yeah, so just temporarily, we're going to have no money. But then, in maybe a month or two, we're going to be rich. And I still need to put all my tractors away. Yeah, it's just been dumping stuff in the middle of fields. It's not a good thing to do. This JCB is in the sales today. No good for us, because we don't need another telehandler. But if we did, it would have been good. Okay, right. Um, actually, can we sell? Uh, select. 29, sell. 285. The rooster, which we didn't really need. Good. So that's made us a little bit of money. And now 
to find out how little we're going to make from the enclosure. After all, it's just a fence. 2,212. Age 87 months. Wow. Well, it wasn't needed. That's given us a bit more space as well. Much better. Just going to slow down time so it's not dark immediately. And we can buy... Well, we'll probably do it tomorrow now, but yeah, we can buy some more chicken feed bags. Just going to have to make these forks a bit wider. There we go. And now we creep into the bags. Not at literally into them. Through them. There we go. And now I need to fairly evenly distribute this. Pretty easy. Two bags each. It's not going to go very far. We're just going to have to get some more tomorrow. This will probably be quite hard to control, so if I just take two off, lift up those two, put them in separately. Right. I expect they're being taken. If not, we'll have to give them a push. Okay, they're not being taken. <laughs> I must have been so close. Okay, and then we can pick up those other two. We'll take them over to the other chicken coop. Must be a thousand litres each. It's only two thousand litres for each enclosure. But it's enough to keep them going overnight. I suppose we should sort out our older hens. Have to sell them. Lots of wool for the spinnery, which we're going to buy in the future, and the honey for the cereal production. Okay. So that's going in nicely. Right, so whilst it just finishes off, let me just try and go into here. Uh, what do we have? 13 months, 27 months, 12. I'm told that we don't actually need the rooster. They liven up the chicken coop. Uh, although I think we only have one, so we'll just keep it there anyway. So yeah, these ones. 60 of them. They're 60 months old. I'm going to sell them. They can keep breeding. So we can get some younger ones in. £595. Good. Okay, right, so I've just checked we have plenty of water in the greenhouses. We have enough space as well to store the lettuce. So I will see you in the morning. That is when we're going to be loading up the lettuce and selling it. It should be a good price. Let's just very quickly take a look here. Right, so you can see de de December here is very good. Um, in fact, it should be the best month. 2858s. Let's see how much that improves. Oh, hello dear. No snow. So it was 2858. It's now 3225, and that looks to have peaked. So we must get this loaded as quickly as possible. Well, I think there is enough space now to unload this trailer. We have the other trailer as well, plus some on the ground. But at least it will free this up. Still considering putting a hedge in. Put a nice sharp edge in as well. Might just make it look neater. Okay, right, so it's taken all of that. We can leave the trailer here. And I will go and get the curtain cider with the forklift. Okay, here we are. So we have got a forklift inside, although I've opened the wrong curtain. Let's just change the curtain side. Right. That should be better. Good. So we have quite a few to load up. We've got those and we've got these ones here, plus more which are going to spawn. So I'm just going to get this done uh, and then we might squeeze a few other things onto the trailer whilst we go over to uh, the farm shop.
Right, so that's looking quite full. Uh, and this is so different to the early days of FS22 because the pallets are so much bigger. Two more have spawned here, interestingly. Did I miss that M1? Maybe <laughs> I missed the N1. Um, I thought I got them all. But anyway, that's fine because we have uh, the best price now, so the more the better. Yeah, we have two here. We've got two over there, so I'm just going to do them in uh, doubles. Just, just do two. Two and two. I think we have some egg pallets to put on. Um, don't know what the price is like for eggs currently, but if it's good, we will certainly put them on. Anything close to 3,000 is good. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that's much more manageable now. We haven't actually moved these pallets for many months. And it didn't really take that long to do it, just in one big go. Part this back over here. And we will take a look at the egg prices. So what do we have? Yeah, lettuce is still good. Uh, wow. Very, very good. 4,000. In fact, has it been that high since they changed the prices? I don't think it has. We, we shall make the most of it. I'm just trying to think what else there could be. We do have furniture. And there will be oil, I think. Olive oil. And also, there will be cheese and butter, potentially. So, I will go and pick up those different products, and then it will be time to sell everything, see how much money we can make. It should be quite good. Okay, right, I'm expecting quite a few pallets of oil. And these pallets are not very tall. Oh, my brakes are very ineffective. <laughs> um, yes, so just close that curtain because once again we have the curtain on the wrong side. Change that. There we go. So now it should be open on this side. And what do we have? Not, not too many to load. I've just opened the, uh, <laughs> the curtain in the wrong direction. Yeah, we wanted to have it to the front. It needs to be opening to, to have the back clear. There we go. So that'd be nice and simple to put these into here. And it's good that we've got so many different products in the lorry. Very good way of doing it. I think probably once I've sold these, we'll take a look at the raisins. Uh, we're not going to sell the raisins, as I said, that's going to go into the production for cereal. Is that everything? Must be. Uh, olive oil. 23 litres left, so I can't really disable the production yet. 
Although, yeah, it's going to... No, I will do. Because it's just going to keep running otherwise. We can uh, process that final amount next time. Strap these in. And let's get them sold. What a lot of products. 5,000 litres of furniture. Very good. 14,000 of lettuce. Right, so we have currently just over £2,000. Let's see what we can turn that into. I know this is going to be good. Wow. So we didn't really have to have any money worries. 143,500 and 67 pounds. Let's head up there, we'll take a look at our raisins. I think we're going to be able to buy the windrow that I want. So that's great news. So is it just two, it's only two pallets, okay. Don't know how far a crate of raisins goes in the cereal production. Thing is it's only one of the ingredients. And if you imagine cereal, it's not absolutely packed full of raisins, so maybe one pallet goes a long way. We, we just won't do grape juice. Yeah, you can see it's one litre of grapes to one litre of raisins. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's get back to the farm. I'll park this over here, ready for next time. And yeah, so good to have the extra space. Ah, oh, I'm free. Uh, right, so we have tractors just dotted about. Um, they need to be packed up. We did well. Getting two cuts of silage off this in... Was it within two months or three months? It, it was a very short period of time. So the front mower. And what I need to do is go and tip this sugar beet. It's also getting very congested here, so we'll get these two pallets moved across. This is the good thing, if we can stockpile ingredients before we actually buy the productions, then we can immediately start making lots of money the moment we buy it. That's full again. Wow, that was so fast. Nice and neat. And we do have the McCormick just sat out here. So in the future, do we need to buy another field or a different tractor as the main priority? It's always nice to have a nice mixture of tractors, but then at the same time, it's, it's much easier to grow by having more fields because then we're actually growing something to sell, obviously. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably is going to be best to buy another field. See if all this will fit. Yeah, I need to check the price for sugar too. Um, but I wasn't really in a hurry. Yeah, that's it. Although it will let me leave it. We can just leave it tipping forever <laughs> until it's emptied. Uh, doesn't seem right. But anyway. Yeah, so... Sugar, because we've only just harvested the sugar beets, chances are there's fairly low demand for sugar at this time of year. Yes. So it basically increases throughout the year until you hit the time to harvest and uh, it plummets. So September is the best time, just a month before harvest begins. So really where we are now, it's not terrible, but it's not great. So I think we'll leave it. We're going to have to... Well, we, we could... I think I'd prefer to put them on to a trailer, otherwise we're moving them twice. So if I can get that other flatbed trailer across here... Where did I put it? Here it is. Yeah, so I'd prefer to use this, because if we were to use the lorry trailer, that just takes it up for an entire year. We need the trailer for other stuff, as you've just seen. All the other products. So... <laughs> 
yeah, I can now begin loading this, and it really wants to be loaded pretty neatly. Otherwise, it's going to be so hard to fill it to capacity. Spin round, make it nice and neat, nice and straight. Uh, and we can actually turn the engine off. So I will begin. Um, yeah, these need to be so neat without throwing them around. Not the most fun job ever, but this is going to make us so much money. I'll try not to make the time lapse too fast. <laughs> uh, yes, it can be very hard to watch otherwise. Oh, it might also be a wise idea to strap as we go to prevent the end ones moving. So if I do that, it is moving. That is moving. It's interesting. Should be able to get a three across, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's moving because all the weight's on one side. It probably is. Um, although that is quite excessive. I didn't think it would move quite so much. Well, we'll see if it sorts itself out, but if it doesn't, that's going to be a problem. Just one more pallet and I can finish off the first layer. And yeah, it was because I was unevenly lo loading it. It should have been loaded at the back first. Uh, basically, I think it was just tipping forwards. It was pretty bad. Um, anyway, we're getting close to the next one. Let me just speed things up a bit. Be here in just a second. Three, two, one. There we go. Right, it's just a satisfy myself here because I don't want to leave it with one gap lovely so how well does that tow let's just strap everything neatly yep no problem at all take it for a quick lap so that's already 24,000 litres impressive uh, we can certainly get a second layer maybe three layers. Uh, I'm hoping that now we've got the first layer in, it won't tip over anymore. I, I think probably to play it safe too. Um, but yes, we have a great deal to come. It's still 360,000 litres at capacity and still being fed by the trailer around the back, which oh, still has quite a bit in it. Well, we'll just stop that just in case it causes a problem leaving it. Um, but yeah, we have sugar coming out of our ears. Uh, I'm not too sure if the uh, dentist is the right person to go to for that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the food for the hens... Oh, they already had quite a bit. These ones, though, 675 litres left. So, next time, we will get some more bags. I'm wondering if I should take a trailer next time with a JCB and actually empty the feed into a trailer. Otherwise, we're going to do many loads with the bag. Um, but yes, it's all looking good. As for the cows, they will need... Oh, actually, no, wait. Pretty sure that's almost full. Should be able to do that immediately. But yeah, another mixture will need to be made. So much better with this feed mixer though, because they really do eat it very fast. 45,000 litres here, should be enough. OK, 
Okay. Alright, let's stop. So we do still have 15,000 litres left. Lovely. The milk will need to be pumped out at some point. And our slurry storage is looking good. Obviously before we didn't have the extra pit, but now we do. So it's uh, much more than it appears. Mmm, shiny. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.